The chain hydraulic drive is in use in many commercial and residential wheelchair lifts. Chain hydraulic lifts use a combination of a hydraulic jack and chains to lift and lower the platform. The speed of the changed hydraulic wheelchair lift is substantially faster than the screw drive lift, so it is a popular choice for applications with more than six feet of travel. The hydraulic jack resides in the hoistway between the rails. Two pulleys are attached to the top of the jack. Two chains tie together the system. One end is attached to the platform. The other end is tied to a fixed point at the base of the rails. The controller and hydraulic pump reside in between the rails as well. This lift needs a shallow pit or short ramp. The chained hydraulic system uses the pulleys to give it a 2 to 1 movement ratio. For every one foot that the jack moves, the platform moves two feet. This is how the unit can operate without digging a deep hole for the hydraulic jack. The chained hydraulic wheelchair lift is considered machine roomless. The controller and pump unit are located in the hoistway, eliminating the need for a separate machine room closet. The hydraulic holeless passenger elevator is popular for public buildings up to five levels. This elevator requires just a four foot deep pit. It is not necessary to sink the hydraulic jacks into the ground. They are positioned above the pit floor and entirely in the hoistway. The cab is lifted by two hydraulic jacks, one on each side, working in sync. The hydraulic jacks are powered by a pump unit in a nearby equipment room. The jacks The controller and hydraulic pump reside in a nearby machine room. This elevator needs a shallow pit. The roped hydraulic system uses the pulley to give it a 2 to 1 movement ratio. For every 1 foot that the jack moves, the cab moves 2 feet. This is how the unit can operate without digging a deep hole for the hydraulic jack. The chain traction drive is very common in home elevators. An electric motor and gearbox are used to move the chain to lift and lower the elevator car. Counterweights are used to offset the weight of the cab and load, allowing the system to work more efficiently. The motor and gearbox is located at the top of the rail system. The chain sprockets are attached to an axle driven by the gearbox. One end of the chain is attached to the cab. The other end of the chain is attached to the counterweight. As the sprockets rotate, the cab is raised or lowered. The chain traction elevator does not require a machine room as the motor and gearbox is located inside the hoistway. This space savings is a welcome benefit in home design.
A popular drive for residential elevators is the winding drum. An electric motor and gearbox are used to wind cables and lift and lower the elevator car. This is becoming increasingly popular as the motor control has improved. Today's motor drives are capable of controlled acceleration and deceleration, providing very smooth starts and stops. The motor and gearbox is often located at the top of the rail system. The drums are attached to an axle driven by the gearbox. require a machine room as the motor and gearbox is located inside the hoist way. This space saving is a benefit in home design. 